Dear viewers, this video is part 1 in the three part series on cancer prevention in the Medicine for Anyone YouTube channel. Prevention of cancer. Improved understanding of carcinogenesis has allowed cancer prevention and early detection to expand beyond the identification and avoidance of carcinogens. Specific interventions to reduce cancer mortality by preventing cancer in those at risk and effective screening for early detection of cancer are the goals. Carcinogenesis, the development of cancer, is a process that usually extends over years. A continuum of discrete tissue and cellular changes over time, resulting in aberrant physiological processes. Prevention concerns the identification and manipulation of the biologic, environmental, social and genetic factors in the causal pathway of cancer. So, dear listeners, by the way, this educational video is made possible by Prescribon, the makers of e-prescription software for digital prescription available freely for doctors on the website www.prescribon.com. Doctors who are interested in this e-prescription can freely avail of its vast collection of more than 100,000 e-prescriptions. Education and Healthful Habits Public education on the avoidance of identifiable risk factors for cancer and encouraging healthy habits contributes to cancer prevention. Early signs of cancer. Abnormal periods or pelvic pain. Most women have the occasional irregular period or cramps. But persistent pain or changes in your cycle can be a sign of cervical, uterine or ovarian cancer. Intermenstrual bleeding, that is bleeding in between menstrual periods, or spotting is especially to be carefully evaluated by a gynecologist. Postmenopausal bleeding. There are a number of reasons for this, but if it is persisting, your doctor may want to check for cervical or uterine cancer. Changes in bathroom habits. Significant changes in bodily functions can indicate colon, prostate or bladder cancer among other cancers. Warning signs include persistent constipation or diarrhea, alternating bowel habits, that is periods of constipation alternating with diarrhea, black or red blood in stool, black tarry stools, more frequent urination and blood in urine. Bloating. We all feel bloated now and then, but bloating for more than two weeks can be a sign of ovarian cancer as well as various gastrointestinal cancers. Breast changes. These include a new lump, dimpling, discoloring, changes around the nipple or unusual discharge that you did not have before. Self-examination of breast by the individual every week on a particular day is particularly important. Use the flat of the hand, right palm for the left breast and the left palm for the right breast. Bring to the notice of your doctor if a lump is noticed. Although most breast cancer occurs in women, men can develop it too. Six, chronic coughing. A cough that persists for more than two weeks, especially a dry cough, can be a sign of lung cancer. Blood-stained sputum is another warning sign. Seven, chronic headache. A headache that lasts more than two weeks and does not respond to the usual medication can be caused by a brain tumor. 8. Difficulty swallowing. If you feel as though food is getting stuck in your throat or you have trouble swallowing for more than two weeks, this can be a sign of throat, lung or stomach cancer. 9. Excessive bruising. A bruise on the shin from bumping into the coffee table is normal. But suddenly, 
getting a lot of bruises in unusual places that have not been bumped can indicate various blood cancers. 10. Frequent fevers or infections. Spiking a fever over and over or going from one infection to the next can indicate an immune system that has been rendered more susceptible by lymphoma or leukemia. Other signs are a fever happening mostly at night, you have no other signs of infection, you experience night sweats. 11. Oral changes. Persistent sores or lesions or painful areas in the mouth, especially in people who smoke or drink heavily, can indicate various oral cancers. 12. Skin changes. A shift in the appearance of a mole or a birthmark should be assessed by a healthcare provider. Our skin is the largest organ of our body and can be a window into our overall health. Jaundice, that is yellowing of eyes or fingertips, is one symptom that could suggest a possible infection or cancer. Contact your doctor if you notice any signs of jaundice. To remember which changes are cause for concern, use this easy mnemonic A, B, C, D, E. A. Asymmetry, one half of the mole or mark does not look like the other. B. Border, the edges are irregular or blurred. C. For color, it's varied or inconsistent, both black and brown. D for diameter, it's larger than the size of a pencil eraser. E for evolving, this refers to any mold that grows, bleeds or otherwise changes over time. 13. Pain that lasts. Persistent pain anywhere in your body that has no clear cause or does not respond to standard treatments should be evaluated. Cancer can cause pain in different ways including a mass or tumour pushing on other areas of your body, the chemicals a cancer releases, metastasis or spreading from where a cancer started. If you are experiencing pain that does not go away and you are not sure where it came from, your doctor can help with the best next steps. 14. Persistent fatigue. A sudden lasting change in your energy level, no matter how much sleep you have been getting, can be a sign of cancer. Cancer uses your body's nutrients to grow and advance, so those nutrients are no longer replenishing your body. This nutrient theft can make you feel extremely tired. 15. A stomach pain or nausea Unusual discomfort that lasts more than two weeks can be a warning sign of liver, pancreatic or various digestive system cancers. 16. Unexplained weight loss. Weight fluctuates, but the loss of pounds when you are not trying to lose weight or the loss of your appetite can indicate many types of cancers, especially ones that have spread. When you lose weight, for no reason, call your doctor. A loss of 10 pounds or more could be nothing to worry about. However, in rare cases, it may be the first sign of cancer. 17. Unusual lumps. New, any new lump or mass that does not go away should be evaluated. Lymph nodes often become swollen when you have a cold. But if the swelling persists after you are well, you should contact your doctor. Teach persons about the hazards of smoking. See tobacco and tobacco related disorders in medicine for anyone in YouTube channel. So dear viewers, this video is the end of part 1 in the 3 part series on cancer prevention in the medicine for anyone YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the video.